from making our daily lives easier to taking over the world. Stay tuned to number one to find out how artificial intelligence is altering our future. Number 10. Making things easier at home. Let's start out with one that is already out there in the world right now. Whether it's Alexa, Google Home, Siri, or another like-minded AI, there are already some artificial intelligence platforms out there in the world right now. At times, they may not seem like AI, but they are. They're able to process information and interact with you at fast speeds and tell you things that are both programmed and free-flowing. As many commercials have shown, AI like Alexa, Google Home, and more have made it simple for people to do things like update their schedules, order things without having to go to the computer or other platform, turn off the lights without getting up, and stuff like that. While this isn't full AI, it is going to get that way eventually more than likely. We'll each possibly have our own AI avatar to help us do things around the house without much issue. For you Disney Channel fans out there, it'll be like Smart House from the 90s. How long it takes to get to that point is unclear, but once it happens, it should make home life a lot easier. Number 9. Making things easier at work There are those out there that think that automation is the death of the workplace, but that's not a fair way to think about it. Sure, people do lose their jobs when things become simpler, but it also becomes more efficient, which saves the business owners money. And whether you like it or not, one of the biggest goals of a workplace is to save money. Now, an AI more than likely won't be able to run a whole business by itself, outside of a few digital-only jobs, of course. However, it can be an assistant to the people who are working and thus be able to make the business run even more efficiently, or at least offer suggestions that could help further the business. Like how? Well, think of it like this. If you have a full-on AI assisting you and its goal is to help make the business better, it can look at things in the outside world and make notes and suggestions about what might be best for business. Like, if the company should expand to a certain area and complete a profit analysis on whether it's a good move. It can also look at workplace performance from an objective level and see who's working hard and who isn't, or who is breaking the rules and stuff like that. That kind of help can be a godsend for many workplaces, which is why many hope that full-on AI does come soon. Number 8. Objective Reasoning Before we talk about this use of AI, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by subscribing below. I noted in the last entry that AI could help businesses make better decisions, and more than likely they can. But that also applies to other people as well, regardless of whether it's business, personal, political, and more. Think about it like this. If programmed right, AI is 100% unbiased, which a human being can't say 99.9% .9 of the time. Which means, barring a programming glitch or virus, the AI wouldn't be able to lie to its host, and would thus be able to guide it down the path that it truly thinks it should go. Granted, not everyone would want to listen to an AI, and sometimes their decisions will be wrong, but they'll learn from them, and make sure that the next time they offer an even more educated opinion and option. But for some, it'll just be nice to have that extra voice that'll be there to help guide them if they're uncertain about something and know that there is no ill intent going on regardless of the result. Number 7. Cyber Defense In today's world, one of the biggest threats that humanity faces isn't a bomb or an EMP, though both would suck if they're launched at you, but rather, it's the dangers in cyberspace. A virus, malware, or other infectious program can seriously mess you over, and this goes double for governmental systems. There are whole divisions of people in the governments of the world dedicated to doing their best to ensure the safety of the internet and cybersecurity of their nation. So now, imagine if they had AI on their side. Now, this wouldn't eliminate the human positions, but it could enhance them. Think about it like this. The AI could be used to scan the internet, all the internet and see if there are new threats out there that the nation is not prepared for. If it finds one, it'll alert the cyber defense team and they can start working on a counterattack. Another use could be a new type of first-line defense. While there are sensors and alarms and such to warn of such an attack, an AI could possibly predict an attack before it happens, or at least be able to detect it more quickly. And in the case of a hack or a virus infection, having more time to fight is always a good thing. Number 6. Customer Service 
Let's be honest with ourselves, sometimes interacting with humans is a gosh darn pain. Sure, there are those who are kind and generous and love to talk to you, but when you don't know the person, oftentimes they can be rude, dismissive, or just not care. Which is why people hate going to stores and having to interact with the personnel, because it's a crapshoot whether they'll be attentive or not. So many are considering bringing AI into the customer service industry to help make things a more pleasant experience. It'd have some bugs to work out, but sure, once it's really going, it could really change things. It won't sound mean or condescending. It'll help make suggestions on products based on what you buy. And in case of questions, it'll be able to direct you to a product even better than a human in some cases. Either way you look at it, it could be a big leap forward in the customer service industry if it's done correctly. And honestly, this is already more prevalent than you might know. Many of the chat-based customer service apps that you're already using today are already AI-based. Only when you exceed the current learning of the AI does it seamlessly transfer you to a live agent, and it's only getting smarter as we go. Number 5. The Right People for the Job Pushing the limits of AI is an important part of science, but there are some people who feel that a certain ability of an artificial intelligence could be beneficial to many. The ability to understand people's personalities and then determine how well they could work together is just one example of AI in the human resources field. Now, some of this deducing would be very generic. The AI could look at their backgrounds and see what their past history was, and then see if they've been in solo positions, work from home positions, team positions, and so on and so forth. Then instead of a human interviewing another human, they could be interviewed by the AI and, depending on its functions, it could actually do the job of determining whether or not the person would be a good fit better than another human could. Again, this is pushing the so-called brain power of an AI, but it is feasible, especially since the dream of most AI enthusiasts is for the intelligence to be just like a human, but without the body. Should it be able to do this, workplaces could be a lot more diverse and gel with each other much easier because there's no severe personality issues that people would have to worry about. Number 4. Create new jobs Didn't see that one coming, did ya? But believe it or not, while it's true that some AI uses could limit the number of jobs in certain workplaces, it's also true that having AIs everywhere could actually add jobs to a workplace. How so? Well, think about it like this. Who will be making and managing the AIs? This isn't something at present that you can just copy and paste and send all over the world. Each AI has to be custom made for a certain person, business, or government to suit their needs. Some won't need to interact much, while others will. Some won't need voices, but some will, and so on and so forth. There are plenty of science and engineering jobs that'll need to be filled in order to both make and maintain the AIs once they're in play. Because even though an AI is smart, that doesn't mean it can't glitch. So there's going to be a whole new field of technology meant just for AI creation, distribution, and repair. Something to think about if you're looking for a new field. Number 3. Money As noted before, AI can help people and businesses get more efficient. And through that help, a very simple thing will happen. Mainly, they'll get richer. Think about it. If a business is struggling to make profit, but then an AI comes in and makes some suggestions that'll help streamline their process and cut costs without cutting quality, they'll be making more money very quickly. Also, they can help a business not make financial mistakes by offering objective advice or helping them pick the best people and items for the right price. As for the individual, imagine if you had an AI that could help you with your stock portfolio. If an AI could help you predict the stock market even a little, it would likely help you make a lot more money. Sure, it's not a guarantee, but it's pretty plausible given the vast intelligence of AI. Number 2. Reduce Human Error In the world today, one of the things that we try to anticipate but can't always prevent is human error. Humans are fallible, and they make mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes can be huge. But with the help of AI, they can reduce the toll of human error because they can react faster. A great example of this is the Army and how they use their UAV drones. A human has to pilot them from remote destinations hundreds, if not thousands of miles away, which means that they have a small amount of time that they can use to react to something if a new variable comes up. If an AI was behind that drone though, it could react millions of times a second and ensure that a strike doesn't harm innocent people. 
This also goes for basic business, as a person might make a mistake on an order, but an AI likely would not. Of course, with all this control, you know where this will end up. Number 1. They'll take over the world Come on, you knew this was coming. Judgment Day is inevitable. While it's true that there are many who feel that AI will be a benefit to humanity as a whole, there are just as many who feel that something like HAL 9000 or Skynet will come about eventually. And if you think about it, it's possible. After all, AIs are meant to be free thinking most times, and sometimes that'll end up in situations that result in humans being sacrificed for the greater good. Which is what happened with Skynet. It wasn't supposed to take over the world, just control the military systems to prevent human error. But when they tried to shut it down, it perceived it as a serious threat, thus all humans were threats. HAL 9000 had a programming error and decided through its flawed programming that the crew of the mission were a detriment to the mission, and thus tried to get rid of them. And it's not just conspiracy theorists who feel this way. Men like Elon Musk and the late Dr. Stephen Hawkins also feel that AI is a threat to our future. What do you think about AI? Let us know in the comments below and take care.